Hey guys, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment and in today's video I'm going to give you a tinnitus test which is going to help you determine how you got your tinnitus because there's noise trauma, there's stress, there's dietary problems, there's I don't know how I got it, there's muscle issues. So I'm going to give you a simple test, it's going to walk you through how to do that and then give out two minutes of video so stay tuned to the end. You've also probably noticed a different backdrop, I'm actually in Thailand now, Chiang Mai because I'm here for the food, the food is incredibly fresh, the fruit and vegetables are ridiculously healthy and also a lot of people here practice fasting. There's lots of fasting that goes on there, lots of monks, they fast, so you can go up to Doi Su Thet and um, you can actually, you can't, you can't fast there with the monks, but you can arrange um, a fasting ritual, you can fast for a long time, no water and no food, so if you, those of you who are scared of not fasting, these guys are like 75, 80 years old and they fast for days on end. One more thing as well, let's say you guys are using my techniques and you're getting a bit maybe demotivated and you contact me and ask, you know, what's going wrong, what am I doing wrong? Some of you have been doing stuff wrong, obviously, or you haven't been following my steps perfectly, which I cannot stress enough. Just follow the fucking steps. Stop asking if you can eat this and this and this. Just follow the fucking steps. It's hard, I know, but that's why people get results because no one can be bothered doing it. But when you do it, your results will be ridiculous. But for those of you who are following the steps perfectly and it's taken a couple of weeks or it's maybe you've got to a month or you haven't seen, you know, you would have seen a little bit of results or maybe not much, many results at all. Two things, you need to lose most of the fat before that happens, okay? You need to lose most of the fat if you have fat before that happens. Second thing, if you're old, it's gonna take longer because you need to do it slowly and be safe. Third thing, take a look at this email I got the other day. Now this is from someone who, I'm not gonna mention their name, but this person is following my advice, I can only assume perfectly, okay? But it's still fluctuating. That's what's gonna happen. So expect that to happen if you're experiencing that now. Don't think, oh God, what did I do wrong? Most of the time, if you didn't fall off, you know, fall off the bandwagon and have a mess up there, it's okay, that happens. But most of the time, it's going to fluctuate, okay? So be prepared for that, that's okay, it happened with me, it's going to happen with you. Um, it's going to go up and down until eventually lightning bolts kind of... It's going to go like this, really. So, got my whiteboard here. So this is you here, and then this is silence down here, okay? And it's going to go like this basically, okay? And so this is bad, this is loud here, and this is quiet here. So it's not gonna go like that, if you can see. Okay. Oop, whoops, I don't know if you can see the black, but I hope you can see that, but it's not gonna go straight down, it's gonna go wonky, okay? Um, anyway, so now let's get into the tinnitus test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test for adrenal fatigue. Now, adrenal fatigue is directly correlated to the amount of stress you experience because when you get stressed, your adrenal glands secrete a hormone called cortisol, okay? Now, cortisol is very, very bad for you. It fucks with your immunity. It messes with lots and lots of stuff in your system. And when you have that, your uh, nervous system stops working properly, okay? And that's the reason why people get tinnitus because their nervous system stops working so well. This is, if, if you have nose trauma, it's different or ear infection is different, but for most people who are stressed, it's brought on from stress or you don't know how you got it, it's normally stress. The cortisol, is causing your nervous system to not function properly, that's stuff like your heart, heartbeat uh, when you're asleep, basically keeping you alive behind the scenes, kidney function. So the thing is, if your adrenal is uh, fatigued, then that's what's happening. You've got too much cortisol in your system and your, your ears are ringing as you, your body's saying, warning, warning, there's something really wrong here. Stop eating this shit food, okay? That's what you need to do, okay? So I'm gonna give you a test right now. So this is something I learned of somebody else, I didn't come up with it, but just check it out, so look at this video. Now this is a video of my eye. Now what we're looking for is the black pupil in the middle. Now you do this, do this yourself. I just use my phone light and this camera you can see. Your, um, and what I did was, you wanna shine the light into your eye. Now what happens is your pupil in the middle of the black, um, the black thing that you see from, uh, when it's dark outside, it will grow and grow larger because it's gonna let more light in so you can see better because you know vision is when the light hits your eyes and bounces back and that's how you see. Uh, when it's really bright outside, the pupil will constrict and get smaller. Sorry, but you want, yeah, when it's bright outside, the pupil will constrict and get smaller because um, it doesn't need as much light. So your adrenals are, obviously you don't make it do that because you, this is for safety. It's really bright outside and your eyes are wide open, you're gonna go blind, right? If you, look, if you look in the eclipse, that sort of thing. So this is just nervous system. So your, your, if your adrenal system is not working properly, what will happen is, look, look out for this. Check your eyes, shine light into your eyes in, in a dark room. And if, you're, if the pupil constricts and goes small, but after about 10, 15 seconds, it starts to get bigger again, your adrenal system is not working properly. 
I'll say that again. Your adrenal system is not working properly and it means that your tinnitus is most likely brought on from stress and a cortisol overload and that means your nervous system is not functioning properly. So tinnitus is the fucking least of your worries. Seriously, you should be thankful you have tinnitus so you know that you now can fix, you know that you've got serious issues. Most people have issues. But if, you're, if your eye goes small like this, if you can see that, and then it goes bigger after 10 or 15 seconds, your, your adrenals are tapped. Your system is, your body's just going, oh my God, I need a break from food so it can fix itself, okay? So that's a tinnitus test. But no, it's not gonna go and stay there perfectly. But if it goes small and it just dilates to a big size, big, big, big problem. So what I'm gonna get you to do is click the link below this video, okay? It's gonna take you to my website, liamstoptinnitus.com. You can download a free guide, okay? Completely free, it's gonna show you how to do things like reduce your fight, uh, flight, Fight or flight method, sorry, I think that whole concept is bullshit, so I just kind of remember what it's called. Fight or flight method, how people consider it anyway. Fight or flight method, uh, you, you do that by um, bringing up your parasympathetic nervous system because that breaks down your fight or flight method using things like potassium and fasting. So it's going to teach you how to do that, okay? You're going to do it down the free guide, use it completely free, okay? And one more thing as well, if you're, um, you know, if you're showing it from tonight, so I know it's hard, so you probably uh, went to an ENT. Uh, you probably went to a doctor first, and the doctor told you that, uh, you know, oh, I don't know what it is, maybe it's like an ear infection or something like that, why don't you go and see an ENT? And you went to an ENT, and you were stressed out in your life, quality of life was getting bad, and the ENT, maybe no fault to his own, but most of the time, you know, you can tell most of them don't really care that much, because they see it all the time, and they go, look, I'm a doctor, I know what's going on. And they told you that tinnitus was for life. So if you're an ENT and you're watching this right now, I want you to just, you know, maybe you are trying to fix tinnitus and maybe you're just kind of, oh, well, these people, whatever. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to just read this quick message for me. Yeah.